when I joined, I was thinking like, well, mostly right now they're mostly focusing on just like winning the race, but like as things get closer and closer to, you know, T equals zero, they'll like pivot more. What would you do if the job you trained for years vanished? According to an incredible new report, software engineers could be mostly obsolete by 2026. If you think this is coming from internet rumors or alarmist headlines, you may need to think again. It's from none other than Daniel Cocatilo, a former OpenAI employee, and several other insiders from Top AI Labs. Together, they have built a prediction roadmap that outlines how fast AI is expected to replace jobs, and software engineering is right at the top of the list. Not only that, they have also signed a public agreement calling for greater transparency from AI companies. So what happens when the world's brightest coders say their jobs are disappearing? Let's break it down. AI dominates software engineering. According to the roadmap co-authored by Daniel Cocatilo and other ex-AI lab insiders, the central claim is clear. AI coding assistants will be capable of generating high quality production level code with little to no human oversight. From the looks of things, it seems AI will fully take over core engineering tasks, from writing functions and classes to building entire applications. The report forecasts a world where teams of engineers are replaced or drastically reduced because the AI tools are just that good. This prediction isn't coming out of nowhere. Tools like GitHub Copilot, based on earlier versions of OpenAI's Codex, are already assisting millions of developers by auto-completing lines of code and offering intelligent suggestions. And let's not forget that GPT-4 has already proven it can write, explain, and even debug code across multiple languages. What's more, the roadmap shows game-changing breakthroughs like automated debugging, unit test generation, and cross-language fluency, which further reduce the need for large engineering teams. These tools will not stop at just coding, they will analyze, fix, and optimize, and they do it fast. That is not even the most startling part. What is bothersome at this point is its steep acceleration. Also, the experts behind the roadmap believe the tipping point is only a year or two away. If they're right, the entire software engineering arena could look aggressively different by 2026. Who is Daniel Cocatajlo and why you should care? Daniel Cocatajlo is a tech guy with an opinion. He was an insider at OpenAI, one of the world's leading artificial intelligence research companies. We also went in detail of his prediction for how ASI could take over by 2027. It goes in detail of the timeline linked at the end. For the most part, he worked on the alignment team, which focuses on making sure AI systems behave safely and in line with human values. In simpler terms, his job was to help prevent AI from going off the rails. That means he had access to internal research, predictions, and development timelines that were far beyond what the public sees. However, in early 2024, he resigned from OpenAI, raising serious concerns about the direction the company and other AI labs were heading. He wasn't alone. Other ex-employees, including Leopold Aschenbrenner, also left while citing issues like a lack of transparency and safety prioritization. There is more. They released a public agreement asking for stronger accountability and more openness from AI labs. Now, what is their goal? Well, it is to make the public and regulators aware of just how fast AI is advancing and what that could mean for society. Kokotajlo later collaborated with a group of these former insiders to release a prediction document on how AI is expected to impact jobs and systems in the near future. In this agreement, the signatories called for greater transparency and safety protocols in AI development. One of their major demands was for labs to create safe, anonymous ways for employees to raise concerns, not just to their companies, but also to regulators and independent experts. Kokotajlo had reasons to believe that software engineering could be done by 2026. Not completely erased, but heavily automated and downsized. Why does this matter, you may wonder? Because these aren't outside critics making wild guesses. These are people who helped build the technology. They saw what AI can already do behind closed doors. They watched systems get smarter at writing code, debugging, and even building entire applications in minutes. Some are taking this expo with a pinch of salt, but really, when engineers who build AI systems start saying their own jobs are in danger, we all need to pay attention. Until that kind of system they are clamoring for exists, they argue. Employees must be free to go public with warnings about the technology they're helping build, as the agreement puts it. 
As long as such a process does not exist, employees should retain their freedom to report their concerns to the public. Why software engineers should be concerned? If the AI roadmap is even half right, software engineers, especially those early in their careers, will face serious headwinds. The first to feel the impact will likely be entry-level developers, freelance coders and bootcamp graduates whose roles are more task-oriented and easier for AI to automate. When tools like GPT-4, Copilot and upcoming successors can write, debug and test code efficiently, companies may start questioning the need for large junior teams. As AI continues improving at breakneck speed, one experienced developer working alongside an intelligent assistant could replace an entire squad of junior engineers. Freelancers and outsourced software services may also find it harder to stay competitive. Why hire an offshore team when a single engineer using AI can deliver the same result faster and cheaper? We're already seeing tremors. In 2023 and 2024, big tech companies like Meta, Amazon and Google laid off thousands of engineers citing efficiency improvements driven by AI. In internal memos, executives mention streamlining workflows and leaning more heavily on AI-assisted development. Many developers are already expressing concern. One Reddit user said, AI is smarter than me. Now what? He went on to express frustration because he had spent most of his life upgrading his skills. And now, AI can do it, and even better in less time. Commenters who understood his plight encouraged him not to lose faith and to instead befriend AI to be more effective at his job. Nonetheless, tech leaders like Sam Altman, in an interview with tech analyst Ben Thompson of Stratechery, said, after a certain point, there would be less need for software engineers. Industry experts and critics speak out. The prediction that software engineering will be largely automated by 2026 has sparked debate across the AI and tech communities, drawing contrasting opinions from some of the industry's most prominent figures. Jan LeCun, head of AI at Meta, has publicly disagreed with some of the roadmap's more aggressive timelines. While acknowledging AI's capabilities, he insists that human judgment and creative problem solving are qualities that AI cannot easily replace. Furthermore, LeCun argues that the prediction is exaggerated and that there will still be a need for human oversight and innovation in software engineering, especially when it comes to complex systems and ethical decisions. On the other hand, Gary Marcus, a well-known AI skeptic, agrees with the general direction of the roadmap, particularly regarding low-skill and repetitive jobs being at risk of automation. However, Marcus warns against the overhyped expectations of AI and stresses that much of the current AI tech is still limited in its real-world applications. He emphasizes that while some jobs will be replaced, others will emerge, though the shift could cause significant disruption to the job market, especially for lower-skilled workers. Even Elon Musk has weighed in on the future of AI's economic impact. Musk has long been an advocate for Universal Basic Income, UBI, as a potential solution for the displacement of jobs, especially in sectors like software engineering. Musk believes that as AI continues to replace human labor in white-collar professions, society will need to find a way to support workers who lose their livelihoods. Media outlets like Time, MIT Tech Review and Wired have also explored these tensions, with headlines often citing fears of economic disruption and AI overreach. The fate of software engineers. With these developments, it's not unusual for software engineers to panic. But the rise and growth of AI is not a death sentence for tech gurus who make ends meet through software engineering. For software engineers looking to future-proof their careers in the age of AI automation, the key will be upskilling beyond traditional coding. While AI tools like GitHub Copilot and GPT-4 are making great strides in code generation, engineers can still add value by relearning and mastering system design, AI prompt engineering, ethics and even management. Of course, these areas require a depth of expertise and human judgment so that AI, no matter how it tries, cannot replicate. Rather than competing with AI, engineers could aim to work alongside these tools. Learning how to leverage AI effectively, integrate it into workflows and enhance its capabilities will be essential. Also, pivoting to other roles like developer advocacy, product design, 
or AI integration, offers viable career paths. Here, the human element of design, user experience and strategic thinking is still important. In the same vein, engineers can consider engaging with open source AI alignment, regulation and advocacy that will contribute in no small way to the development of ethical standards and ensure that AI systems are transparent and fair. What do you think about these warnings? Should software engineers find a different career or will they eventually learn to work together with AI? Share thoughts in the comments. If you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe to this channel. If you want more doom and gloom, we go over the entire roadmap from Daniel in another video, from the medical field to software engineers like we did here and what the day to day will look like. If you'd like a more promising, hopeful future, check out our video on Elon's predictions and shockingly, he believes it's going to be the best time in our history. Check it out if it's not linked here. With that all said and done, everyone, enjoy your day and stay frosty.